Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in Ayutthaya, which is just north of Bangkok in Thailand. And today we have the special opportunity to harvest, to pick some giant mushrooms, which are literally head-sized mushrooms. And then after we gather some mushrooms, after we pick some mushrooms, uh, they are gonna prepare them, cook three different dishes, Thai dishes, uh, especially Isan, Northeastern Thai dishes from the mushrooms. Uh, so in this video, I'm gonna share this entire experience with you. Let's pick Pick and eat some gigantic mushrooms. We just arrived and we are immediately heading off, walking into the farm to go collect to harvest some of the giant mushrooms. And also to just take a look around and see what else they have. Uh -huh. And now we're really getting into the farm here. Oh wow, look. I don't know what this is. But it's pretty cool though. Hit tap tao. Oh. And even hit tap tao, gum. That was our first sighting. Really quickly before we get further into the farm, into the mushroom harvesting, uh, in Thai the mushrooms are called het tap tao, which literally translates to turtle liver mushrooms. There's not going to be any turtle, there's not going to be any liver in this video. In English, and I just looked it up, they are King Boliti mushrooms. I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but I'll have it written right here. King Bolit, Bolete mushrooms. King Bolete mushrooms. <laughs> and then, Ah, okay, so starting to see throughout this field, there's starting to be some of the mushrooms um, that are growing throughout this, under this canopy of kind of like long brushy, brushy forest uh, next to the water. And, oh wow, get little cub. Oh, suit your cub. Look at the size of that base of the mushroom. Wow. Get it, right? Get it, right? Get it, right? Unbelievable, look at the size of these mushrooms. They're huge, like the size of a, a basketball. But he said that these mushrooms, well they are, oh, that's just like an entire canopy of a mushroom. It's like a, an entire tree. Uh, well he said that they are edible. He said they're not that delicious anymore because maybe they're, they're kind of tough. Uh, so he's picking up some of the small, they're still huge, but some of the smaller ones. Whoa. Oh, it's the size of my face. This mushroom is amazing and that color and you can see the gills underneath it. And I'm not even sure of all the mushroom terminology, but that stem and then the, the flower on the top, the cap of that mushroom, unbelievable. That size and the yellow color underneath it. My God, this mushroom is bigger than your face. So he said that that size is actually the perfect size to eat, that Thai people love those the most. I think maybe the texture, maybe the flavor uh, is at its peak. Whereas if they get to those giant size, while well, they are really cool to look at, so it's just massive mushrooms, they're probably not as good to eat because they're a little tougher, I believe. Okay, and we're moving on. This forest is just filled with the mushrooms. Let's see if I can fit through here. Barely. <laughs> Tight squeeze. And also you can just really feel the humidity as soon as you step back here. We're right next to the water. And then just this kind of canopy of this type of tree that just stands up straight right. Oh, look, there's a whole patch, a whole patch of them. Those are huge too. I just gotta, I wanna pick a big one. Look at the side. Let me get down a little bit further. Oh yes. Oh wow, look, they just, they just like unearth so easily. That is amazing. I could use this as an umbrella. Wow, the basket is almost full now. And a 
again, that's really the best size for eating. But if you feel that stem, you can feel the firmness of it. It's spongy, you can feel there like some spongy material underneath it, but like the firmness is unbelievable. Okay. Just, you have to admire just the composition of this mushroom, that umbrella top, the, the thick, hardy, firm stem, and just how it just doesn't even really root into the ground, but just kind of stays on top of that moist soil. Definitely fungus. Oh yeah, that smells delicious. That's making me hungry. ผัดกะเพราเห็ดตะเตาแล้วก็ผัดกะเพราเห็ดตะเตาแล้วก็ผัดกะเพราเห็ดตะเตาแล้วก็แกงเห็ดตะเตาเนาะสามอย่างก็
Okay. Oh, okay. So it is the same as lab, this version. Uh, so it's gonna be more of like a, not really a salad, but a mix. Yeah, kind of a, a mushroom salad, Isan style. Into that dressing sauce, uh, pala, which is fermented fish sauce, uh, fish sauce. He added in chili, ground chili. He added in a little bit of sugar and uh, lime juice. And now kaukua goes on. Kaukua. Roasted, toasted sticky rice powder. <laughs> that aroma smells incredible, the different spices, the chilies go into there and they finish it off with just a, a handful of vegetables, herbs, uh, mostly coriander and green onions and uh, culentro or sawtooth coriander. And now moving over to the pot here. Uh, he's just started boiling some nam yanang, which is, uh, it's a it's a juice from the yanang leaves, which is uh, very common for stews in Isan and northern Thailand. Um, and so he's just boiling that up with some bamboo shoots, and that's going to be for the next dish. Okay. <laughs> Finishes that off with a handful. Oh, that actually wasn't the finish, but that's the climbing wattle shoots that he just added in, which have an amazing, just extreme green aroma to it. I think he's gonna actually finish it off with uh, some climbing rock, which is the lemon basil. Lemon basil. All that aroma. Oh man, all of the different fresh ingredients. That's just bubbling away. You smell that Yanang based juice broth. Oh, and he added also in some bala, some fermented fish sauce as well. Okay, come. One more dish that he's gonna stir fry with the mushrooms and with a uh, sweet Thai basil. <laughs> and that smells incredible as soon as he added in that horapa, the, the sweet basil. And that's ready. I think we are ready to eat. Oh, I'm, I've never been so excited to eat a mushroom in my life. Oh, wow, that smells incredible. Yeah. 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 Uh, 
and we're heading down Riverside on that dock over the water to eat. What a gorgeous setting to eat some turtle liver mushrooms. Massive, giant mushrooms. Cup. Now for getting the rice. I'm gonna start with the goy because this one is just pure mushrooms. Just like mushroom steak. This is what I have to start with because it looks like the best representation of just the pure, pure mushroom steak chunks. Mm. Oh wow. Like that texture. I was expecting them to maybe be a little tougher, but they're so silky, slightly slimy. So flavorful and so just like mm. almost dissolve in your mouth. Like at first you feel like on the texture of them you feel like almost a little rubberiness mm. but then you chew once and it just like collapses in your mouth into spongy flavor. Oh it's amazing. Crispy at the same time but then soft and slightly slimy. Mm. Mm. And you really taste the difference between the the cap, the mushroom cap and the stem. The stem is more a little more crispy actually, mm. and then the cap is a little more slimy maybe. Unbelievably meaty. Mm. I'm gonna try the next dish, which is the padharapa. A little bit of minced pork in here, and the main ingredient is the, again, the star of the dish are the mushrooms, but then the, the sweet basil in there. Oh, and again, what's amazing is that these mushrooms, literally about 30 minutes ago, 45 minutes ago, we just plucked them from the forest. Mm. Oh wow. That is delicious too. Again, I mean, you could make anything with these mushrooms and it would be delicious, but then just like the, I think what makes them is the, the different spices, the herbs that go along with them. But really the star of all the dishes are the hit tap tao. Next up, I'm gonna go for the, the gang, the curry with the bamboo shoots. Look at the, the different colors of those mushrooms. And look, this one is pumpkin and the orange ones are the mushrooms. That's the color of the mushrooms, the amazing, vibrant orange color of the mushrooms. Okay, put this onto the rice. I'm gonna get a few more. I'm gonna get a few more herbs and bamboo shoots. Oh, and the cha om in there too. Mm -hmm. And again, you can really smell the smell the lemon basil in there too. I need all. I need a few more. Mm, getting a lot more cup. Oh yeah, I love the curry because I love the, I love that Yanang leaf. It's hard to explain, but it just has this kind of the juice of a leaf, so it's very green tasting. But that's contrasted by the bala, the fermented fish sauce, and then just that umami of the mushroom, and then just the, yeah, this just the mushrooms just soak it up like a sponge. Mm. I cannot believe how soft the mushrooms are. They literally just melt in your mouth. Mm -hmm. We're just quickly discussing why in Thai the name of the mushrooms is turtle liver mushrooms. Um, but, I mean, I guess there must be a story in history of why they've become known as that. Um, could, be, could be just the look of the mushrooms, right? Kind of look like a, a turtle on the back, the liver. But then I was thinking like the, the actual texture of the mushrooms when they're cooked, they sort of have a liver kind of texture to them. Not a, not a cooked liver, not that like grainy cooked liver texture, but more of a, like a raw liver texture if you've had raw liver. I'm 
loving the guy. That was an amazing, outstanding lunch. Can we call that mushroom to table cuisine? Straight mushroom to table. But an, I, I mean, in addition to the delicious food and those fresh mushrooms, sitting along the river, the calming aspect, the breeze. It's really hot when you get back. When we were picking those mushrooms, I was just dripping in sweat, but sitting out along the river, you get that breeze. Uh, oh, that feels incredible. From here, we're just gonna maybe walk around a little bit more. And I think they wanna show us something, but I'm not totally sure what it is yet. It's or it's the... Thing that you have to put it in the ground to make the... Ah, uh, okay, to, to raise the mushrooms. Chai, chai. Ah, the beautiful. starter or something. I'm not even sure what that's called either. I don't have much experience in mushroom farming. We're bringing all of these mushrooms home, right? Yep. Can I see that basket real fast? That one too, I think. All of that one too? Yeah. <laughs> so we are, we aren't leaving empty handed. We are going home with like kilos of mushrooms as well. Also, they are so cool. They're so nice. And you can just tell they're so happy about the mushrooms uh, and their passion and that they can earn a living and make a business out of growing and selling the het tap tao mushrooms, giant mushrooms. Wow, I've never seen that before. That has an aroma to it. This is like mushroom fermentation, bacteria, just decomposing mushroom material. Wow, yeah, that's, a, that's an aroma that your nose will remember. <laughs> <laughs> this mixture, um, and once that's ready, then they put it into the, the soil and that grows the mushrooms, I think. I think that's what they said. Wow, oh, very cool. That is interesting to see. เนี่ยเชื้อเห็ดเห็นมั้ยคะก็คือก้อนนึงก็คือต้องขุดลูก่อนขุดหลุมขุดหลุมขุดหลุมขุดหลุมขุดหลุมขุดหลุมขุดห
in Bangkok. But I want to say a big thank you to them for hosting us here and for cooking that special meal. And please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe and also click the little bell icon and that way you'll immediately get notified of the next video that I publish. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye from Ayutthaya, Thailand. Mushroom stomach full of mushrooms. And I'll see you on the next video. Mushroom full of stomach? <laughs> nah.